Katie and Neil, the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District is providing 35 community learning sites and they expect that number to increase. So we toured the Fulton Family YMCA to learn how the staff plans to keep your kids safe. Your stereotypical classroom is going to look a lot different this year. We may do a classroom of 10 back there, a classroom of 10 here, and then 10 over here and 10 over there. Under new emergency rules, organizations that partner with the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District through a written agreement will now be considered a public school. We want to make sure parents can go to work and feel safe knowing that their children are in a safe place and they're getting their work done. The Fulton Family YMCA is one of over 30 remote learning sites in the district. The goal is to offer families a supervised location that provides structure and routine for their kids. Trying to provide some kind of normalcy for them and some kind of a program where they're around friends and peers and uh, get to do something. I mean, that's that's just one of the biggest things right now. Kim McClure oversees youth development for the YMCA of Northwest North Carolina. She says their facilities in Forsyth County provide spaces to enhance social distancing and accommodate a set number of students. The children will all be separated out by grades into different locations in our buildings in groups of 10 if they're kindergarten through fifth grade. They'll be in groups of 15 if they're middle school or high school. The Fulton location is still being prepped for students and should be ready in two weeks. We are in the process of getting enough tables and chairs and pens and pencils and paper and headphones. Eventually, this workout equipment will be replaced with desks and chairs and small groups will be seated in this gym. Kim says children and staff will be screened every day before they are allowed inside. All necessary steps to ensure they can stay open these next nine weeks. We know we can meet their needs, but what we want to do is keep kids safe and keep them healthy. That is the biggest thing. And our staff, um, we don't want to, we, we want to minimize any kind of risk or exposure out there. The YMCA locations also provide meals and before and after school care. Parents do need to register their kids for these remote learning sites because space is limited. They also need to keep in mind that some of these locations do cost a fee. Kim with the YMCA says that they do provide financial assistance. Reporting in Winston-Salem, Allison Smith, Fox 8 News.